So today has been um, pretty amazing the, from an open source perspective, from an automotive industry perspective, the number of people we have from different initiatives around the globe um, talking today has been astounding um, from my point of view. Um, and if Dirk is around, I think we invited him to come and chat too at the end to, to, to just bring some closure on this. But I think, Dan, you pointed out like this is really um, a community effort. Um, and, and that's really what OpenShift Commons has been about is just giving away the stage and giving away the podium and letting communities develop organically um, and hoping um, you all can make the connections that you need to and take the stage. So Harold's been um, working hard to, to make all these people show up and um, share their story. So I'll let him add a few words as well here. Yeah, so so thanks for the opportunity uh, to, to speak some words. And I, I also want to, to say a big thank you to all participants and all people uh, uh, within Red Hat and, and also from our partners to make this event possible. So um, uh, Red Hat can only be successful together with a partner ecosystem. And we've seen that today yeah, with our great partner solutions and, and uh, industry specific possibilities. So, and um, I, I think our main message is together we are stronger. So we, we want to collaborate with you. We already have very uh, good partnerships in the ecosystem. You can collaborate with us in the open source initiatives. We have seen some like Eclipse Software Defined Vehicle or um, a Future Mobility Campus in Ireland and also other partnerships and, and, and work together with us. And um, so really looking forward and, and also looking forward to the Red Hat Summit. We will have some, some great updates on the summit, as Dan mentioned, and, and for sure we will um, get new topics in automotive there. And thanks for organizing the event, Diane. <laughs> Hey, this has been amazing for me because, you know, uh, we, we've gotten to cover off drones, which is one of my favorite things. All the, the latest things in software defined uh, vehicle, the in vehicle OS, the edge. We've, we, I can't think of a topic we didn't cover, um, but maybe Dirk, um, I know you weren't on stage. We didn't give you the stage at all um, previous to this. Um, if you want to unmute and add a few words um, and let us know, did we miss anything? No. Uh, I mean, I attended the whole day and uh, it was amazing. It was amazing to see how Red Hat is inspiring our customers, but also our partners and, and what great solution our partners are building on top of our offerings. I mean, the Excel for OTA update solution, um, what NTT is doing with the human driver perception platform, but also how, you know, Eclipse is inspiring us and how we are driving together innovation in the automotive ecosystem. This is truly amazing. And I think we just started. Um, we will have fantastic years ahead of us. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, you know, we've come such a long, long way um, and in such a short time. It's amazing what um, we can do when we collaborate, when we share our stories and our case studies and our technologies. And this has really just been um, a little bit mind blowing, I have to say today. Some of the stuff we saw, I can't wait to get to Dublin or to Shannon, to Ireland, to see that camp futuristic campus. And it um, uh, seems like I should bring my drone and a VR headset at the same time um, to get around that campus. But Nisha, anything we, do you, from your perspective, anything we should be covering that we didn't? Um, what's, you know, what do you see coming up next? Dan, thanks a lot for having organizing this first ever automotive focused OpenShift Commons. And we had a great cross section of uh, customers, consortiums, startups, smart mobility uh, kind of use cases, and our IBM talking about storage. So we had a great set of use cases. I think hopefully looking forward for the next edition where we can widen the topic, widen the ecosystem participation. And uh, I think um, probably have a face-to-face -face open shift comments event sometime for automotive. Oh, definitely that. I think um, we could arrange to do something like that. Maybe we can steal that Shannon campus or go someplace. I, I think <laughs> uh, there's a big center of gravity in Europe. So uh, I can see maybe uh, I hear a lot of German accents on these calls. So uh, <laughs> maybe something in Berlin again soon. And it's really been wonderful. I'm, I'm here now in Israel and we've just had 
the first in-person regional one. Um, and we have a couple more coming up. We're going to be at KubeCon in e EU in um, Valencia, Spain in May, right after Red Hat Summit. Um, and then we'll be in Dublin and London. And who knows where we'll show up next, maybe in your backyard. Um, yeah, because so of the time zones as well, we had, I think, a difficulty for APAC colleagues to join. Uh, maybe uh, we, next time yeah. we also widen this time zone and probably have this recording as well. That I think that's uh, good. Yeah. No, I, I think that we did, you know, we had a number of folks come and join us. There's, there was, you know, there's still a couple of questions in the chat floating around, um, mm -hmm. but I think they were more for the e-sync talk. Um, so um, I'll let, maybe we'll ask, answer that um, in the chat. Um, so if someone can pop over there, Jun Chiu Park is um, asking a question. Yeah, I, think, uh, I think Dan is a perfect to answer that question. Dan, I'm not sure if you're looking at a question which JC had asked. Uh, can, I, can, I can read it out loud. Uh, JC asked, um, is there any plan for integrating eSync in the RHIVOS roadmap? If so, what's the idea of how it Yeah, I, I've got the question here, Diane. Okay, good. You can you can read up, rattle off that acronym. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that one. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a secret that we're keeping. Anyway, open okay. to interpretation. I might say Rivos. In any case, JC, great to hear from you. Um, want to let you know that we have a good relationship with uh, Excel 4, Srikant and that team. Uh, we're talking about how we can better work together to serve mutual customers. So stay tuned for uh, uh, details. Um, uh, we don't have anything to announce publicly today, but uh, rest assured that we are speaking. We're acting as good partners. Uh, you've already seen the deep partnership that exists already between Excel 4 and AWS around OpenShift and uh, what they've done there. Uh, there's a nice white paper on our website, uh, or at least a, a, a press release that talks about the depths of that partnership. And we're looking uh, earnestly how we can extend that to include our in-vehicle uh, offering as well. All right. So uh, that kind of brings us almost to the end of our day here. Um, just thinking, oh, there might be, no, I think that was the last question we had. Um, I've been pretty impressed with, with the depth of the questions too. So it's obvious that everybody's thinking very hard about how all of these pieces of the ecosystem are gonna integrate with each other. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing, we have automotive SIGs and working groups um, all across Red Hat and in the Commons and elsewhere. So if you're interested in joining um, OpenShift Commons, um, it's really easy to find. Um, and we can add you to our Slack channels and to um, send you updates when we have our next automotive um, update um, and gathering. Um, hopefully we'll do one following up and go even deeper in some of these topics as things evolve. Um, I don't know, Harold, you, you got any final words for us? So what I want to say a big thank you. Thank you for uh, your participation. Thank you for your question. And also thank you to all contributors. It's it's very uh, important to, to contribute in an active way. And I, I see that in our ecosystem. Thank you.